Hi, I'm Rudy Millard. I'm reporting for 411 Mix TV and Guide to Bristol on Bristol Fashion Week. Uh, I'm here with Mark Hayes and with Andrew Barton, who were comparing the show, did an absolutely fantastic job. Did Gentlemen, did you enjoy yourselves? Oh, hey, I thought it was Thank brilliant. Thank you, that was really yeah. kind. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Huge compliment. No, 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 we had a brilliant time doing it. I mean, it's, it is such a great vibe being on here and, and looking at the audience, because I have to say, the audience just, they just drink it up. They absolutely love it, you know. I mean, I was in the audience myself, and and I think, you know, you really pick up on the fact that people feel they're part of something special sure. mm -hmm. at the Fashion Week. I mean, what I thought I'd ask you guys first of all, because obviously you know what the heck you're talking about. When it comes to <laughs> the fashion style. Yeah. What do you think were the key trends here that people at home who perhaps didn't get to see the show want to look out for in the shops? Sure. Um, I think pastels. I think it seems to be a really, really big story. Um, I, you know, I mentioned before that you know pastels is always a big story in spring summer, but so many of the big catwalk shows went and showed all pastel collections. Mm. I was like, this is going to be massive, and it really is. But I mean, you know, people are going to be scared of that. There's no getting away from it. The fact that people do love to wear darker colours because it tends to be more flattering. But you can always wear a bit of pastel with some of the darker shades, whether it's charcoal greys, navies. They're always trying browns. to get guys to wear a bit more pastel. Rudy, colours, you're aren't even pulling a bit of pastel well, off I yourself. I, I have suit. no fear of the pastel. No, absolutely. I, 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 I love suits the you, sir. So, yes. Uh, not, 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 not quite on the inside. One thing I noticed, and uh, I think you guys picked up on mm. the twenties stuff that yeah. was coming out from. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Marks and Spencers. Yep. That, that yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Putting the twenties collection Absolutely. together. Absolutely. But it seemed to me that if there was one overall theme for the show, I mean, it was pretty much eighties stuff. And I mean, I think. Almost everyone had mm. elements of 80s fashion in the collections they were putting together. Maybe with the exception yeah. of H&M. And, and even, even their little show, there was a little sort of ladies suit combo that I think you would have picked up off the rack in Escada. Like it You're showing your age here, aren't right? well, you? You're kind of just recognising stuff trends myself. from the yeah. 80s. That particular that, one, yeah. is a real, it's a real kind of Chanel, kind of Escada kind of look, that, that particular but, but, one. But, but what I'm seeing more than anything, I would say more, rather than the 80s, I would say, it's 1992, that's what we're looking at. And the reason right, why, right. there's a technical reason why for this, is because you look 20 years back. So that's how designers always work. Mm -hmm. So they're now looking back at 1992. And if you look at what I, actually H&M have got in at the moment, yeah. it's very much Gianni Versace, kind of mm -hmm. you got that scarf print thing going on. Yeah. It's all that kind of like early 90s kind of so So rather than 80s, even you know, you know even like with some of the uh, the sports lots kind of stuff as well. Again, that's what we're all wearing early Gosh, 90s. You, you know, remember back then. This has turned you do, this you know. has turned into a right little debate. I mean, the most important thing is yeah. that here at the Mall, there's just so much choice for every shape and size and for every age group. Mm. And whether you want something really relaxed or you want something a bit more formal, the shops here at the Mall really kind of carry a great selection yeah. of goods. Oh, completely. And I mean, would you say, I mean, having had a look around, as you, as you pointed out, I mean, the people here in the audience today, absolutely stylish yeah. to, to, to a tea, looking amazing. It's a day out, mm -hmm. it Despite really is. fashion disasters though? Oh, you always spot. Oh, that the odd one, yeah, that's all absolutely. right. That's why they we come here. We try not to kind of focus on those. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's why they're coming here, to get, you know, to get the knowledge. And as you said, it is an amazing day out. And you know, the fact that they go back up to the mall, they get their goodie bag, mm -hmm. you know, there's yeah, personal yeah. stylists up there to help them as well. So if they are kind of stuck there's in so a style rock, they the can do it. I mean, this show is always, always a sellout. I mean, 18 shows over five days in this Fantastic pavilion, yeah. champagne on arrival, cupcakes. You know, it's a great day out yeah. uh, for the boys as well. It's not, it's not just for the girls. A lot of girls come with their husbands and boyfriends as well. It's, I mean, it's very much a Bristol thing, obviously, and I think it's mm. great that we do put on such an amazing fashion week. I mean, do you guys get the chance to sort of nip out a little bit uh, around Bristol? I mean, you mentioned those two great exhibitions. Yeah, I was yeah. At the, uh, the opening of the RWA, mm -hmm. uh, the 100 Years of Fashion Photography. I mean, I think anybody should go and see that. Yeah, yeah. Whether they're interested in fashion or not, Completely. it's just stunning. But I mean, do you guys get to nip around and sort of see what's going on in the city? We, we do, and I mean, I mean they're, they're full on days, but you know, Bristol has got a fantastic reputation of being kind of an artistic and cultural yeah. city mm. as well. It's a great university city, so there's a really good vibe here We've as well. We've been getting out and about. We're both actually training for the marathon at the moment. So yeah. we're definitely yeah. out and about. I went, I went out running the other day too, and, and went across the downs and never realised at the end of the downs, it's this amazing cliff and this drop mm -hmm. into into the river. It, it was, you know, it's stunning. And, and also, I'm a big fan of Rajput, which is 
is my favourite Indian restaurant in the <laughs> world. We usually go on there Saturday night, don't we, to celebrate right. we're almost <laughs> the shows. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's that thing as well, both of us kind of work at mm. London Fashion Week as well, mm. and being here at Bristol Fashion Week is just always a high for us, isn't it? It is, and I think something that you should remember, you know, in, in Bristol is that, you know, people will say to oh, what, is this like a tour that you do? And I'm like, mm. no, it's not like a tour. It's the only place in the country that does anything like this. Yeah. No mm -hmm. other shopping centre does anything like this. And you rock, Bristol, you I rock. You, well, Bristol's kind of becoming the, the regional capital for a lot of things. I mean, mm. there's the food, I mean, there's the fashion. Um, I did want to ask you guys quickly about the runs that you're both doing. Is, mm -hmm. it, is that a coincidence that you've both started to... Uh, started started to start start each other on? Uh -huh. we, we've always kind of been into our fitness and we're mates outside of yeah, kind yeah. of being professional kind of buddies as mm. well. But um, yeah, absolutely. It was just coincidence yeah. that we ended up doing it in the yeah. same year. It's, 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 it's been fun. I'm enjoying it, I've got to be honest. Now I've got to like kind of 18 mile stage. Right. right. And next one's 20 miles. I'm, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're pushing I'm, I'm looking forward, forward to, that, to, 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 to be done. You're doing it for a great charity. I'm doing it for you? a great charity. I was an adopted child, so I'm running for the British Association of Adoption and Fostering um, and to raise funds for the charity. And I'm about halfway there at the moment. If my legs hold out, I'll be halfway through the marathon on the big day you'll as well. Good, you'll be yeah, good. You'll be good. You look fit as a butcher's dog. Oh, thank you very <laughs> much. Sure, sure, thank sure, you. Be able to do it. Listen, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for the presentation you did on the floor. It was really, really good. Brilliant. I wish you both a lot of luck in your runs. Thank you. Pleasure. So much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.